What's up guys, Brian here and I'm back with another easy Final Cut Pro X tutorial that you guys can use for your own projects as well. Dad, Mills, I'm doing a video right now. In today's tutorial... Dad! 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 Oh! As I was saying, in today's tutorial, I'll show you guys how to freeze your subject. And if you like this type of content, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Here's what you will need for this effect. A tripod, a camera, and Final Cut Pro X. Start off by finding a spot to film this effect. It'll probably be best to find a location where the lighting won't change on you, as we need to keep it consistent to make this work. I decided to film mine just outside the office hallway. Make sure that you and your subject are not overlapping in the scene, as you will need some space to be able to apply the masking tool later in the video. You will only need to film one scene to make this work. As you can see in this clip, I was standing on one side of the frame, against the wall, while the other subject was in the office, on the other side of the frame. Once you are done filming, fire up Final Cut Pro. Find a clip you filmed and place it in the project timeline. Then drag the same clip again on top of the first one. Make sure it is lined up perfectly. In the effects browser, search for the draw mask tool and drag it onto the top clip. Place a key point around the subject that you are going to freeze. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. You just need to make sure that it doesn't overlap with the other subject. After placing the key points, click on Invert Mask. Find the part in the video where you want to freeze your subject. Probably right around the part where you click the button on the remote. Place the playhead bar at the position on the bottom clip where you want to freeze your subject. Once you have done that, click on the Retiming Options tab and select Hold. Now drag the top right corner of the whole portion and extend it until the end of your clip. Blade off the rest of the clip by pressing B on your keyboard and then delete the second half. Then add a clicking sound to finish off the effect. <laughs> 